Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this lesson video, I will be discussing the concept of measures of central tendency. Here, we will be determining the mean, median, and mode of the ungrouped data. So, without further ado, let's begin. I am your teacher, Sir Mark Laroya. Measure of central tendency is one way of describing your numerical data. For example, in quantitative research, in the part of data description, we do the measure of central tendency for us to obtain a single value, a single value that represents and describes a set of values wherein these values are the result of your either observation, surveys, and interviews with the use of different techniques and methods of gathering data. Now, I will be discussing the measures of central tendency for ungrouped data. The three most common measures of central tendencies are the mean, median, and mode. Let us consider this example. The points scored by Joe in 11 games are 10, 8, 16, 24, 16, 9, 18, 17, 20, 12, and 22. Let us now find the mean, median, and mode of the ungrouped data. So our set of values are these points scored by Joe in 11 games. Now, let us proceed with mean. When we say mean, it is simply the average score. So, it is represented by small x bar or that is sample mean. So the formula for the mean or the sample mean would be x bar equals summation of all the values of x all over n, the sample size. So x bar now, our sample mean would be add all of these points scored by Joe in 11 games and then divide it by our sample size which is 11 and then we will get the sample mean is now equal to 15.6 or that is roughly same or equal to 16 points so we can say that Joe the average points that Joe scored or scores in a game is equal to 16 points now, another way of getting a single value that could describe and represent a set of data would be with the use of mode. Mode is the value that occurs most often in the data set. For example, first, I arrange the points scored by Joe in 11 games from lowest to highest. You can also do it the other way around, from highest to lowest. Here, we can see that 16 occurred twice and it has the most number of frequency so we can say that the mode of our data set is 16 and that is how we get the mode of a data set the third one is with the use of median median is the value that occurs at the middle of the data array or data set or we should say that it is the middle value of our data set. So first, the first thing that we should do is to arrange our values from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. And then, consider the value at the middle. If n or the sample size is odd, get the middle value. So how do we get the middle value? First, we should identify what is or what is the place of our middle value? For example, our n here is 11. To get the place of our middle value, n will be either added by 1 and then divided by 2. So it becomes now 11 plus 1 over 2 or that will be 12 divided by 2 
and that will give you 6. So 6 or the 6th value or the value at the 6th place among the data set will be our media. So in this case, 16 is, at the, is our 6th value. So 16 is our media. Now, if n is even, let's say for example, we eliminate 8 just for the sake of example, we have a total of 10 values. To get the median of this set of values where n is even, we should get two middle values. To get the places or the place of the middle values, divide n by 2 and then you will get the place of the middle value and the other one is just simply the next to its value or place. So for example, we have 10 values, so you have 10 divided by 2, that becomes 5 or the 5th value, and then next to it is the 6th value. So identify the 5th and the 6th values. So the 5th value is 16, and the 6th value is 17. In this case, we have two different values. 16 and 17. To get the median, we simply get the mean of the two different values. That is 16 plus 17 divided by 2. And so, we will have a median equal to 16.5 or that is equal to 17. So that is how we get the median for a set of values wherein n is even. Let us solve another example. Scores of 12 students in a quiz in chemistry are the following. 20, 15, 13, 17, 16, 7, 18, 11, 14, 5, 12, and again 18. Before we solve the mean, median, and mode, what I did here is I already arranged the values from lowest to highest. So they are 5, 7, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, and 20. So a total of 12 values. So that means our n or the sample size is equal to 12. So let us now get the mean of our data set. So for the mean, we simply add all of the values. So in getting the, val uh, the sum, we add all of these values and then we will get 166 as the sum. Then divide it by our sample size which is 12 and then the answer will be 13.8 or that is nearly equal to 14. So this is the mean of our data set. For the median, since our n is an even number, that means we will be having two middle values. So to get the position or the location of these two middle values, we divide 12 by 2 and then we will get 6. Meaning the sixth value is one of the two middle values. And, then, and so next is the sixth place is the seventh value. So seventh value will be our second middle value. So, for the 6th value, that is 14, and for the 7th value, that is 15. Since the two middle values are different, to get the median of this data set, we get the mean of the two different values. Add the two values, 14 and 15, divided by 2, and so our median now will be equal to 14.5 or that is rounded up to whole number that is equal to 50. So this is the median of our data set. And lastly, for our mode, as you can see, since we already arranged this, it is very easy for us to identify what will be the mode of our data set. We will see here that 18 has the most number of frequency with 2. 
no other values occurred twice or more. It's only 18. So the mode of our data set is now equal to 18. So thank you very much for watching my lesson video. I hope you learned something new in mathematics. Please don't forget to like and share this video to your friends and classmates and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sir Mark Garoya. Till again next time, see you and God bless.